Hi to all. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about design of commutator and brushes of a DC machine. Okay, the commutator is a, an assembly of commutator segment or bars tapered in session. The segments made of odd drawn copper and insulated from each other by mica or mica night. Okay, the usual thickness of uh, which is about 0.8. Yeah, mom. The number of commutator segments is equal to the number of active armature coils. That is a very important one. Okay, so micro insulations will be present between the commutator segments. Micro insulation between segments. Yeah, cut away view of the commutator of the commutator. Okay, this is a commutator. Okay, this is a brushes. This is the brushes uh, armature will be and commutator commutator and this will be the brushes the diameter of commutator will generally be about 60 to 80 percent of the armature diameter lesser value are used for higher capacity machines and higher values for lower capacity machines because if you go for a higher value of um, uh, machine that armature size sorry the commutator size will be reduced okay higher value of commutator Peripheral velocity are to be avoided as it leads to lesser commutations. Time, okay. So, increased reactance voltage and sparking commutation. Okay, the commutation, the commutator peripheral velocity Vc is equal to pi dc n by 60 should not as far as possible be more than the 15 uh, tens per second. Peripheral velocity of 30 meters per second is also be using used in practice but should have to be avoided whenever possible okay the commutator segment which to see the outside width of the one segment plus mica insulation between segments is equal to pi dc by number of segments should not be less than 4 mm okay so minimum segment which is due to uh, 3.2 mm of copper plus 0.8 mm of mica insulation between the segments. The outer surface width of commutator segments lies between 4 and 20 mm in practice. Okay, the actual length of commutator depends on the space required by the brushes with brush boxes for the staggering of brushes for the margin between the end of commutator and brush and for margin uh, between the brush and the riser of width risers. Okay, uh, if there is NB brushes, number of brushes per arm or spindle of holder placed one beside the other on the commutation, commutator surface, the length of the commutator LC, length of commutator is equal to width of the brush WB plus brush box thickness 0.5 centimeter. Number of brushes per spindle plus N clearance 2 to 4 centimeters plus clearance for prices 2 to 4 centimeters plus clearance for staggering brushes 2 to 4 centimeter. Okay, this is a cutaway view of the commutator with brushes placed okay in it. So these are the brushes will be placed in a commutator. Okay, this is a brush box. Okay, so brushes, brush box. So when we go why you are going for brush box, it should not be um, that positive brush will not be uh, connected with the negative brush or the, to avoid the short circuits, we are going for brush box. Okay. If the length of the commutator as calculated from the above expression leads to small dissipating surface, pi dc lc, okay, then the commutator length must be increased so that the temperature rise of the commutator does not exceed a permissible value, say 550 centigrade. Okay, the temperature rises of the commutators can be calculated by using the following empirical formula. Uh, degree Celsius okay, is equal to 120 watt loss per centimeter square of dissipating surface DC LC by 1 plus 0.1 VC. The different losses are responsible for the temperature rise of the commutator or brush contact loss. Okay, brush frictional loss because when the motor rotates, the frictional losses will be occurs. So, the different losses, one is brush contact loss and another is uh, brush friction loss. Brush contact loss is equal to voltage drop per 
brush set multiply with how much current IA. The voltage drop per brush set depends upon the brush material. Carbon is the brush material we are using, graphite, electrographite or metallized graphite. These are the four materials we are using as a um, uh, brush material okay the voltage drop per brush set can be taken as 2.0 volt for carbon brushes brush frictional losses due to the loss of brush arms okay frictional torque in newton meter uh, multiply with angular velocity the frictional force in newton and multiply with distance in meters multiply with 2 pi n by 60 so 9.81 micro p p a b a l l multiply with dc by 2 into 2 pi n by 60 where mu is a coefficient of friction and depends on the brush materials lies between 0.22 and 0.27 for carbon brushes okay pb is equal to brush pressure in kg per meter square and lies between 1002 and 1500 above okay here area of the brushes of the brush arm is in meter square a b multiply with number of brush arms a b number of poles in case of lap winding okay so a b into 2 uh, or p in case of wave winding so brush details since the brushes of each brush arm collects the current so if it is a motor uh, heat gives a current to the motor and if it is a generator it collects the current so since the brushes of each brush arm collects the current from two parallel parts current collected by each brush arm is 2 i by 2 i a and the cross sectional area of the brush or, or brush arm or holder or spindle a b the current density del p depends on the brush materials and can be assumed between 5.5 and 6.5 amps per centimeter square for carbon in order to ensure the continuous supply of power and cost of replacement of damaged or worn out brushes is cheaper a number of subdivided brushes are used instead of one single brush okay so if you go for single brush if any fault occurs it will be for totally damaged so because of to, to avoid that we are going for number of brushes more okay so here uh, tb is the thickness of the brushes wb is the width of the brush and nb is the subdivided brushes so then ab is equal to tb wb and nb as a number of adjacent coils of the same different cost slots that are simultaneously undergoing commutation increases the brush width and time of time of commutations so also increases at the time at the same rate of therefore the reactance voltage, the basic causes of sparkling communication becomes independent of brush width. Okay, with only one coil undergoing computations and width of the brush equal to the one segment width. The reactance voltage and hence the sparkling increases as the slot width decreases. Hence the brush width is made of, made to cover more than one segment. If the brush is too wide, then those coils which are away from the communicating commutating okay pole zone or coils not coming um, under the influence of interpole flux undergoing commutation leads to sparking commutations hence brushes with greater than the commutating zone were advisable under the circumference since the commutating pole zone is lies between 9 and 15 percent of the pole pitch okay it has been found that the brush with uh, should not be more than five segments in a machine less than okay 50 kilowatt uh, and five segments machines more than 50 kilowatt standard brush width can be 1.6 2.2 and 3.2 centimeters per current subdivided brushes should not be more than 70 amps brush materials and the properties normal carbon 5 to the peripheral velocity 5 to 15 current density 5.5 to 6.5 voltage drop 2 okay coefficient of friction 0.22 to 2.27 metallized graphite copper metallized graphite it's a copper carbon mixer okay there are 5 to 5 point uh, 5 to 15 uh, 15 to 16 2.2 3.5 0 0.16 electrographite there 5 to 15 8.5 to 9 1.72 uh, and the coefficient of friction 0.22 okay so this is the Material different materials. Thank you.